Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I'm in my little pretty budget journal. And um, in this video, I'm going to be doing, I'm closing out my December paycheck number two, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start my January 2021 paycheck number one. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Go ahead and flip you to my setup for December. Okay. Alrighty, so um, this paycheck ends January 6th. Today is the second, but I can safely close it out because I don't expect to spend any more money because um, there's really not much left to spend. All right, so I have my little cheat sheet on the side. So my paycheck was actually this amount. And this is usually on point because I am able to view my um, view my paychecks ahead of time. Like I can look at my pay stub. So I hope that um, you all are able to do that. If you are, take advantage of that and use your real numbers. All right, so I budgeted 732 from hubby, but um, he ended up transferring 647. Um, and that is a difference of about $85. And then other, I actually didn't budget anything <laughs> and I got 200, uh, from my mom, which was surprising. It was a Christmas gift from her. When you add up everything, let's go ahead and do that together. Okay, so that brings my income to $2,531.60. And then the plus or minus ended up being $115 extra, which we like. All right, moving along to my fixed expenses. Okay, so credit card actually was zero. For some reason, um, I'm ahead, I keep paying this <laughs> every time I get paid. And so I'm ahead and I didn't have anything that I needed to pay for this. And I didn't, I used that money for other debts. So that was zero. Rent is always <laughs> 14. So that was that, this was of course 100. And this was also um, the true amount of 84.65 because that was the remaining balance on our light bill. So adding all of those up for my fixed expenses, we got 1400 plus one plus 8465. That's $1,485.65. I'll do the um, plus or minus later. Alrighty. Now my variable expenses. Okay. So my, let me look at my cheat sheet. Okay. So for my personal savings, it was actually 110. I always forget about that $10 that I automatically transfer every month. That's like a recurring thing. And actually for the new year, I bumped that to $30 just to always have some money going to savings regardless of what's going on. Giving is 25. That's a recurring uh, thing. Acorns actually ended up being a little extra. So I did $10 um, and then I ended up adding another $8 um, just because I did transfer Tuesday and I decided to throw a little extra money in, in that account. My brother, I actually gave him a little bit more than I typically do. So that went to 50. Joint savings got 50. My sinking funds, in fact, got two thirty-seven fifty. I think the difference was the gas money. Um, we didn't have to worry about that because my husband is the only one that's driving to work, and he was off. For groceries, that was one fifty. Now this, I'll have to put like a little asterisk next to, and you'll see on my new budget that um, what we're doing now is we have kind of a, a bill and expense account. And I just send a lump sum to that account. Um, and that was what I budgeted for. So we could have gone over it, but I didn't in like track that right now. So we're just gonna say that's what it was. Same thing with eating out. 
fun i went over i think this is the second time i went over in my fun money but it's okay um what did i buy for this i don't remember i think it has to do with stickers or something something planner related that i bought that put me a little bit over in my fun money um and then extra debt budgeted for 50 and it actually ended up i actually ended up sending let me see i ended up sending 150 plus 11 plus 1360 so i ended up sending 174.60 unbudgeted was zero nothing came up there and then my buffer ended up being 5701 let me make sure all of this <laughs> adds up So that came to $991.95 for variable. And then add my fixed expenses of $1,485.65. Why am I off? $2,477.60. Um, did I forget something? Groceries, eating out, fun. Debt. Oh, I know what I forgot. I'm going to write it here. So one thing that we started um, was the 52 weeks challenge. So that's an extra saving challenge that we actually started the first um, Sunday. Well, it, we started the last Sunday of December, right? And that amount was we didn't budget anything but i actually spent 53 dollars there so if you take 247 and then you add 53 so i'm, I'm off by like a dollar and i think the dollar went to acorns so i think acorns actually ended up being 19 dollars and here's why so um i automatically send let me see if you can see that. I automatically send $5 a week. And then there's like a $1 subscription cost or something that they charge. And so it really should have been $11 budgeted. And then I put that extra $8 just because I did transfer Tuesday. And that's where I wanted to send my money. So this is kind of like the breakdown for my December paycheck. Um, I hope you were able to follow along. If you have questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below and I will go ahead and respond. But now let's go ahead and flip to my January paycheck so that we can um, get this video rolling. $1,654.92. And the reason being is because um, the new year, I'm taking out additional money for my FSA. I'm taking out $50 a paycheck. So that's why, I think it's $50 a paycheck. So that's why it's a little bit less and then consulting i'm budgeting for my consulting um work and this is what i invoiced already it's one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and then for other i'm taking the 134 from sinking funds when you add all of this up which i did already it's three thousand one hundred thirty eight dollars and ninety two cents I may get a little bit more in consulting. We don't know because I'm still owed about $220 back pay, but I'm not even going to budget that here. If it comes, it comes. All right. So let's move on to my fixed expenses. So for my personal savings, I'm budgeting a weird amount, but it's because I am actually trying to get the total balance to an even number. So it's 131.39 joint savings. That's 50 always, always, always. 52 week challenge. That's gonna be $53 every two weeks. And I 
change the order of these things because in 2021, I think it's important to be intentional with how I'll set up my budget and pay yourself first is definitely something. It's a mindset that I definitely want to make sure I adopt. Uh, Acorn, so this is where I did it correctly with the $11. All right, household transfer, as I mentioned, that's gonna be kind of like a catch all for our bills and expenses for the household. So that does include rent, utilities, car um, note, car gas, food, which does include groceries and eating out. All of that is lumped into this amount. And this goes to a separate account. And my husband does the same thing. And that way it doesn't show up here. And I got that from Lushan's lifestyle, Lushan's lifestyle. So shout out to her for Microsoft Office. That's seven dollars. I think it's technically six nine six ninety nine, but I just round up for my mom's insurance. That's one thirty four, and that's what I take out. It's basically a wash, but I just like to track it for my phone bill. That's about fifty six dollars. Pet plan is my pet insurance for my cat. That's twenty dollars. Personal loan is the target debt that I am paying on right now. The monthly amount is one nineteen. And then my Apple storage, that is $2.99, but I'll just round it to $3. And I actually have a wax payment because I have a wax, um, not a subscription, a wax package. And we're doing payment plans. So go ahead and capture that here. And so when I add all of these up, okay, this adds up to $1,000. $505.89 for my fixed expenses. And let's move on to variable. Giving is a recurring amount. As I mentioned before, that's $25. A wedding gift um, for one of my good friends from high school. I budgeted $50 for that. And I can already tell you that the actual is going to be zero because, let me write it here now. Because what happened was, <laughs> as soon as I um, ordered it and everything, um, I got like a credit, uh, a statement credit on my credit card that I used. And so it covered it basically, but that's fine. Um, sinking funds, I am budgeting $1,000. $72.50 and I will break this down in another video um, because I do have taxes wrapped into that. My fun money, I went up a little bit because I went over it. and I also think it's important to kind of like be realistic with that. And then extra debt, we're putting 400 towards my personal loan and then of course nothing for unbudgeted. Adding these up on the side, you get, so that comes to one thousand five hundred eighty seven fifty so my buffer what i am budgeting is my income which is three thousand one hundred thirty eight ninety two minus the one thousand five hundred and fifty eighty Nine and minus the 1,587.50. So my buffer is showing 45.53 for my buffer. Um, and like I said, that's really because uh, this $50, I'm going by budgeted still. So the $50 hasn't been accounted for. So really and truly it's 95.53, but for now we're just gonna keep it like this. Um, and yeah, this is my paycheck breakdown for my January 7th paycheck. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I will see you real soon in my next video. Thank you.